So the other day I was messing around with a few different lighting setups and thought I'd take you guys behind the scenes on how I lit a night interior scene for someone in a bedroom. I'm going to show you all the different lights that I used, where I placed them, and my motivation for putting them there. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. One of the things I always like to remember when trying to light a scene like this is motivation. Where are the lights coming from and what purpose do they serve within the scene? I wanted to light everything by starting with this main shot of me going down and sitting on the bed as it kind of brought everything together and, and would motivate the way that I light the rest of the shots in this sequence. So I started out by putting a single point source LED light with a Fresnel on it pointed at the side window with a blue gel to emulate moonlight. Now this is a great start and creates some cool shadows with the bars of the windows in between. But as you can see behind me, the moonlight is not registering on the back window as the ground is just dark. To fix that, I put a second COB LED light source around the corner of the house to help light up the ground in the background, giving it a more natural feel as the moonlight spreads across the entirety of the ground as it would in real life. This already makes it look much better and much more realistic. Moving on, our second motivated light source was the desk lamp sitting on the bedside table. For this, I installed a wireless controllable Bluetooth bulb so I could change the color temperature and intensity of the light remotely. This gave me complete customization of how bright I wanted the practical light to be, which is super important as it could have registered either too bright or too dark if I didn't have that control. While this looks nice, there's still more we can do to help bring up the ambience of the room and help motivate that desk lamp light source. To help with this, I rigged up a small LED panel that I set to the same color temperature I had on the desk lamp itself. I also chose to point it into a 5-in-1 reflector to bounce the light off of it, which helped spread it out, bringing up the ambience in the room, and also helped soften the light to make it look more natural and more pleasing on my face. Now one other thing that's worth paying attention to in this scene is the color contrast that's happening. Because I'm using opposing colors with the blue moonlight and the tungsten looking nightlight, the color contrast looks really nice coming from either side of the room and highlighting either side of my face. This can be a great way to add a lot of interest into your scene and is relatively simple to do. For the close-up shots, I kept the setup mostly the same, simply bringing the 5-in-1 reflector and the small LED panel slightly closer to my face to help soften the look even further. And for the overhead shot, I dimmed the LED panel slightly to help reduce the orange cast on my face and really help provide an extra dramatic look, with those harsh shadows being even more present and falling across my face. So, to recap, firstly we put a motivated moonlight source outside with an LED light and a Fresnel with a blue gel on it. Secondly, we wanted to extend that moonlight look by putting a second LED light with a blue gel to help spread that moonlight onto the ground around the corner of the house. 
Thirdly, we added a LED smart bulb into the desk lamp to provide some color contrast and also to provide a practical light within our scene. Finally, to help boost the ambience in the room and motivate that practical even further, we added the LED panel bounced off the 5-in-1 reflector, set to the same color temperature as the desk lamp. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that behind the scenes look at how a light, a night interior. If you did, make sure you click the like button down below. It actually does make a difference. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see more filmmaking videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.